Hi, good morning everyone. I hope you are doing fine. You are perfectly happy and healthy. So today it's my first video and I want to talk about career opportunities after completing MD Pathology in India or in Pakistan and other countries. So what are the career options you can opt for? That is the prime focus of today's video. Some people definitely are very content and satisfied uh, in terms of the remuneration in India and also they have the different purpose of uh, uh, serving the society and doing their bit. So yeah, for them certainly uh, after completing MD Pathology, uh, joining some corporate lab or private lab or even a hospital would be a great option. If you want to uh, do the specialization or fellowship, you can also go for uh, DM in pathology like hematology and hemato-oncology and other branches because uh, it gives you super speciality title. Uh, but here comes one concern that if you are living in a townships or like cities which are just underneath the metropolitan cities being a speci super specialist you certainly won't find many opportunities yes yeah, certainly if you are uh, uh, if you are living in mumbai hyderabad bangalore and some developed uh, cities like this the chances of tremendous growth are there if you are having the dm degree but uh, definitely it will cost you three more additional years after your md pathology residency completion however the prime benefit is that it will also allow you to do a clinical practice because uh, uh, hemato-oncologist not only diagnosis diagnose the um, hematological cases but also treat those patients so yes uh, clinical touch is so is something that you are looking for after being after being in pathology or after opting the pathology stream you should definitely go for dm pathology here uh, uh, if you are not intending to do any further studies and you just want to join the um, private practice or own your own lab in upcoming futures i would advise you to join uh, mostly pony clinic laboratory uh, that is medium to large size uh, or the corporate hospitals because in comparison to uh, standard on laboratories here the chances of learning are very much more why i am telling you is this uh, telling you this is because uh, even after doing the residency training it is very imperative to develop your practical skills because actually working in a field and studying are two different things even though you have talked uh, in your university it is uh, somewhat challenging to adapt yourself as per the private market and if you are in a renowned uh, um, tertiary or large institute or large size laboratory you can start your journey uh, under the shelf of someone who has already been in this field and who is experienced enough so uh, under their guidance you can you can have more opportunities for evolving so that is my of course personal opinion uh, but the all in all um, the all in all cause of uh, dictating this thing is that uh, most of the time when we pass out from the college we are we are in hurry to get the job opportunity and we don't want to wait right so uh, as per my experience i believe that uh, just having a secure job in hand should not be your uh, vital aim but it should also go hand in hand with having a proper job we can have where you can have better growth opportunities because uh, after some type of some time of uh, your private practice you will realize that uh, it would have been far better if you would have been working to that institute where you had an exposure of immunophenotyping flow cytometry histopathology because all the labs are not having this type of environment mostly even the medium-sized laboratories are doing some primary practice and uh, some hormones and enzyme yes yeah, certainly but uh, some rare tests and other 
you know higher level of test they are referring to the reference laboratory mostly they are outsourcing it so if you if you are patient enough and you are more concerned about your future opportunities your development your experience as a overall package as a pathologist which will be surely very helpful when one day you will decide to open your own lab you should certainly wait for a better chance to be a part of a large size organizations okay so this is about uh, the career yeah one more thing is that you can opt for fellowship mostly in fellowship it is like one year of fellowships and many renowned institutes are providing it in various fields like cytopathology blood banking hematology today you can definitely opt for those fellowships but here the drawback is is that it is just like one more year of residency where you will have to obey those institutional responsibilities and of course the pay grades are not that handsome uh, sometimes on the contrary to that you are the one who is uh, um, depositing the amount to do that fellowship but yeah when you uh, come out completing that fellowship you will definitely have a upper hand uh, in comparison to the other pathologist in market so yeah it can help you also it can help you to streamline your uh, way of further movement in pathology as we all know that pathology is a very vast subject so yeah uh, this was my uh, nutshell uh, description about what in India after completing pathology we can opt for. The second uh, thing I want to talk about today is uh, uh, the career option. I think the video has gone really long so I would like to talk about it in my next video. Thank you.